So welcome people of God. So I want to, this word is a word of deliverance concerning marriage. That's what this word is. You can use this word for any prayer or petition that you have on the altar. But when God gave me this word of deliverance, he gave it to me for me about marriage. And so I want to release this word for you so that you can take this word and you can run with this word and you can, you can walk in and see the performance of this word of deliverance concerning your marriage. This with this word, that's what this word is. The other day in my time with the Lord, the Lord talked to me about the attack of witchcraft concerning me getting married and, and how I was postured. Now, something that you've heard me preach here, if you've been here any amount of time, is the fact that God has said to me concerning marriages, it doesn't have to be difficult. And some of you are postured in your place and believing for marriage and your faith is complicated, like I said, because you believe that it's difficult because it's always been difficult. It's always looked difficult. Everybody preaches that it's difficult and you believe that it's difficult. You're in expectation of God to do this difficult thing. Nothing concerning what God is doing concerning your marriage. Do you, are you in agreement that it gets to be easy? And so even when God gave me the word about witchcraft, still knowing what God has said to me about, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be difficult. Let me help you with something. The, the scripture that came to mind immediately that God brought to me was the story of Jezebel. And something that God has said to me concerning Jezebel, whether it is Old Testament in the book of Kings or the New Testament in the book of Revelation is Jezebel was an easy kill. And I know that when we preach about witchcraft, nothing about it seems easy. Even where it is difficult, it's hard, it's oh my gosh, nobody wants to hear about the word witchcraft. Nobody wants to be believing for nothing and it, it's some witchcraft here. Huh? Witchcraft. Oh, she said witchcraft. Yet, let me help you with something here. <laughs> let me help you with something here. In 2 Kings 9, verse 33, in that passage of scripture, you see in one moment's time, this witch that had been killing all of God's prophets die and be thrown from her high place by two eunuchs. Two. Jehu was down there and asking, I need, who, who up there is rocking with your boy? Jehu was a new king. Jehu was fresh on the scene. And two eunuchs, when I, God told me to look up the word eunuchs. In the natural, we know that eunuch is a castorized man, right? His, he has no manhood. Another definition of the word eunuch is an ineffectual person. Two ineffectual people threw down Jezebel. In the book of James says to us, it is the prayers of a righteous of the righteous effectual. It says, I probably need, let me let me look the scripture up because I want to get it right. Here we go. It is James 5. And 16, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. There is a translation that says effectual the, uh, to that degree. But listen, we as New Testament Christians believing in Jesus Christ, we are effectual. We're effectual. Yet it was the movement of ineffectual people that brought down witchcraft, that brought down that witch. Let me tell you something. The witchcraft that has opposed you in your marriage, it's, it's over in the name of Jesus. Your prayers are effectual. You shoot down that witchcraft with effectual prayers and it's over. The attack of witchcraft, the witches that have enticed your, it's, oh, oh God, help me, Holy Ghost. It's over in Jesus. Don't be postured somewhere Puffing and puffing and straining when the prayers, the prayers, the, let, let me read this again. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This thing doesn't have to be difficult. I come against every attack, every opposition of witchcraft concerning my marriage in the name of Jesus. I'm speaking it in the morning. I'm speaking it in the evening. I'm speaking it at night. It's over. It's over. 
It was two. I'm going to go to 2 Kings 9 and 33. It was two so that I could see, so I could read to you. This is the Bible. This is not me trying to hype y'all up with a prophetic word just so you could be like, oh, witchcraft. Is no, 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 no. Jezebel, we know, is the most notorious witch that the body of Christ talks about. And so in 2 Kings 9, we're going we're gonna to talk about this. This is Jehu. This is Jehu right here. He looked up at the window and called out, who is on my side? Who? Two or three eunuchs looked down at him. Throw her down, Jehu said. So they threw her down. They threw her down. Ain't said a word. You ain't said nothing but a word. They threw her down. There was no fight. There was no 10-hour consecration. We got to fast on this one, bro. Uh, we don't mess with her. You, you know how much blood she got on her hand? No. In the name of Jesus, the witchcraft concerning your marriage is thrown down. It's thrown down. It's over. It's over. The witchcraft that has been opposing you from meeting your spouse, it's over. The witchcraft that your spouse can't never find you, it's over. The witchcraft concerning your husband when it comes to addiction and problems, it's over. It's over. It's over in Jesus' name. 